you bay close to the river to keep an appointment. So Yi of Wu Kingdom was a straight gist, but he was narrow minded and jealous of people smarter than him. So he had always been thinking of killing Zhuge Liang and Liu Bei of Su Kingdom. One day he invited Liu Bei to cross the river. Wang did not let Zhuge Liang, who was then staying in Wu, for help, know about it. So he was very great. When he saw Liu Bei's coming, he had arranged an armed man to kill Liu Bei at the banquet, where he threw a cup to the ground as a signal. Zhuge Liang was surprised when he discovered that Liu Bei were meeting with Zhou Yi. Anxiously, he went to the tent and relieved to see Liu Bei had Guan Yi standing his behind to protect him. Then he went to a small boat by the river, waiting for them to come back. At the banquet, host and guest had served several rounds of wine. When Zhou Yi stood up, cup in hand, observing Lord Guan, hand on sword, Zhou Yi inquired who he was. My younger brother, Guan Yin Chang, replied Liu Bei. Not the one who cut down generals Yan Yang and Wen Chou? So he asked nervously. The same. Liu Bei answered. So he alarmed, broke out in a cold sweat. He poured a cup for Lord Guan and drank with him, and said, You are really famous, for you have slain six generals and breached the five passes. When Liu Bei asked where Zhuge Liang was, so he said he had better meet him when Cao Cao was defeated. Lord Guan eyed Liu Bei, who sensed his brother's intent, and rose to bid Zhou Yu farewell. Zhou Yu made no effort to detain his guests. When Liu Bei and Lord Guan reached the edge of the river, where well, they were happy to find Zhuge Liang in his boat. My lord, said Zhuge Liang, you were in more danger than you knew today. If not for Lord Guan, Zhou Yi would have killed you.